Okay, joined by a new Dublin Senior Football Manager, uh, Desi Farrell. Desi, first of all, congratulations on your appointment in the job. Uh, uh, tomorrow it's against Longford in the uh, O'Byrne Cup semi-final, your, your, your first day out. I'm sure it'll be a hugely proud uh, day for you to be leading the team out as the Dublin Senior Football Manager for the first time. Sure, yeah. It's um, uh, a great honour um, to be appointed as the Dublin Senior Manager, not just for me, but for family and for my club, Nafina, obviously, as well. So, yeah, looking forward to tomorrow. Uh, how have the first few weeks gone? I'm sure it's been a busy few weeks in terms of getting preparation done for the season ahead, the, the months and the uh, the games ahead. Yeah, it's been pretty hectic. Um, just trying to get around and to, to meet as many people as possible, players and, and backroom um, staff, and to figure out what's required for the season ahead. Um, but it's been productive, um, made good progress and happy where things are at. Um, from your point of view, obviously you have a huge knowledge of the uh, Dublin Senior Football setup, I guess, in terms of your role and the development panels over the years, obviously the minors in the 21s, uh, manager of Nafina last year. So how much, how important would that knowledge be of the game over the next few weeks, months and years, hopefully with Dublin in terms of, uh, you know, getting a panel together and getting to know the players as well? Yeah, it definitely helps. Um, I think knowing the personnel that's available to you, knowing the talent that out, that's out there is um, always going to be beneficial. Um, it probably helps too in terms of, introducing some new faces, some um, new blood to the team and to the squad. So, um, yeah, looking forward, that's what tomorrow is about. And we've had two trials already um, and uh, there may be another period of assessing players and, and trying to determine who's at a level to step up and, and move into the squad. Um, you mentioned there are some fresh faces. Can we expect to see some fresh faces over the next few weeks and months with Dublin? And also, will it be a blend of you know, youth and experience? Yeah, I, I think um, there's an understanding amongst the squad that it's, it's probably going to be helpful to the team if there are new uh, players introduced to the squad who are of a level and obviously capable and talented and, and dedicated to the cause. Um, but similarly, um, that won't be to the detriment of some of the more senior players. We're happy to carry a slightly extended squad over the National League period and um, those senior players uh, will definitely get a chance to uh, impress the new management team. Um, I think that's important because they've been fantastic servants of Dublin football and um, and if they're keen and eager, so are we. And from that point of view about some of the senior players, there has been some speculation over the past few weeks. Have you had any indication yet about maybe some of the players staying on and, and really talking to you about, about their futures with Dublin? Um, I've met with some of them. Um, there's more of them I need to meet. Um, but um, from our perspective, um, we don't see any further change. I don't think there's going to be any more retirements or announcements. Uh, not that I'm aware of as of yet, anyway. And, um, and, and obviously the big question has been around Stephen Cluxton and what Stephen's doing. So I'm uh, delighted to say that, that Stephen is very keen to stay involved. He's come through um, uh, some significant uh, surgery there on his shoulder. And, um, um, but is obviously eager to uh, rehab and uh, hopefully the recovery goes well for him and we see him back in the pitch um, in the not too distant future. And finally, the, the lads have been obviously away on holidays in Bali over the past few weeks. They're getting back, I think it's this weekend, so I'm sure you'll be meeting with them over the next couple of days. And I guess preparation really begins over the next few days for the league, which starts obviously in two weeks' time. Yeah, it definitely does. It cranks up quite quickly now. Um, the lads have been away on a well-deserved break, and um, I think they've enjoyed the last couple of months uh, since the All-Ireland final, and rightly so. Um, but it's now time to get back to work, and uh, they'll be very conscious of that themselves. So. Um, um, big, big opener coming up in two weeks' time and um, uh, that will definitely focus the minds.